Hey what's up Halo fans and welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a lot of analysis of Halo Infinite's gameplay review as much as I can. Now I understand a lot of people were negative about the gameplay, uh, I personally enjoy the gameplay reveal, I think it looks great but hopefully this video may change your mind because uh, there are things people still don't know so maybe the video, this video will give you guys hope again. So anyways, let's do the analysis. So right off the bat, we see the cutscene of Master Chief and the pilot flying the Pelican and they get shot by the AA gun. And I want to say that this cutscene looks amazing. Master Chief looks great uh, than ever before. And the pilot, uh, I'm actually starting to like the pilot a lot more now. I know he was kind of rude to the Master Chief here, but he tells the Master Chief, don't tell me what to do. But I understand his frustration because he wanted to go home to his family and he has been trapped with the Master Chief for a long time now. So I can't really blame him there. Now here's the first look at the gameplay reveal. The player steps out the pelican and takes a nice view, which I thought looks very beautiful. You know, a lot of people have been complaining about the graphics and how they look like clay and too plastic, which I do understand where they're coming from. Because when you look at those structures, those forerunner structures far ahead, they do look, they do look like from Minecraft. Uh, one of my friends uh, pointed that out for me, saying those structures, you know, look like Minecraft, which I find a bit funny. Uh, they don't seem to have uh, too much uh, too much textures on them. Uh, I guess it's the reason uh, why it does look like that. Uh, and the same uh, thing with the uh, assault rifle. Uh, it doesn't have that texture on it. It looks too plain, too clean. Uh, I just hope if they do uh, add a lot of textures before release. So if we take a look at the Master Chief's hood, uh, his hood looks fantastic. I really like the health bar design. It's probably the best one we have yet. And on the left, we see these uh, mission objectives uh, about destroying the AA guns. And at the bottom right here, we see the assault rifle and a pistol. And a bit to the left, uh, this is a grappling hook. Uh, that's where, where we saw saw the uh, uh, the grappling hook on the cover art that we've, we've shown recently. Um, so moving on, where well, you can see the player looking around, and there seems to be wildlife creatures running around, uh, which I find uh, pretty nice. Uh, I've always wanted wildlife in Halo, so I'm really happy to have this in game. So as the player sees the enemies for the first time here, and my God, the grunts—they look fantastic than they were in Halo 5 and 4. Uh, I'm really happy if they brought back the original art style for these guys. Uh, they are a mix between Halo C and Halo Reach Grunt, which I'm a, a quite of a fan of, uh, so I'm really happy with that. And one thing I want to point out uh, to a lot of people is when this ship was flying uh, by, a lot of people thought this, were, this was a Phantom, a Covenant Phantom ship, and they were complaining about the change. Um, guys, I'd like to clarify, this isn't the Phantom. Uh, it's just some uh, new... Uh, sort of type of a uh, banished brute ship, so don't worry the class of phantom you know, is still there somewhere So yeah, so as the player moves on you can then see him at sprinting So yes yeah, sprinting is confirmed for Halo Infinite I know a lot of people are going to be very upset about this which is totally understandable But I think sprint should stay in the campaign since it is an uh, open world uh, But I'm hoping for the multiplayer uh, will have a, a mythical arena playlist like what Halo 5 had which had no sprint and no spawn abilities and here you see the player opens up a map called uh, TAC map and this does uh, this does really reminds me of uh, Halo 3 ADST which I really enjoyed so those red waypoints we see here uh, are the AA guns that we need to destroy so what we see here Halo Infinite is confirmed to be open world which I kind of love in some ways here in the next part where the player hops off the Warthog and he fires his AR at the Grunt and if you guys have noticed it seems like if they have also brought back the uh, Halo 4 and 5 Grunt's art style but don't panic, you hardly will see them in game uh, so don't be too concerned, we, we will see more of the Halo classic Grunt's uh, rather than the Halo 4 and 5 uh, Grunt's uh, which is fair. Next shot we have the player picks up a new weapon called VK78 Commando um, this weapon, not too sure what I think of it, it's not something I would expect to have in a Halo game. It doesn't feel like a Halo weapon, uh, but that's something you know I can live with I guess. Uh, but I would like to point out for all Halo fans that haven't noticed, it seems like there's no aim down size, as you can see here very carefully. The place, uh, the place uh, zooms in normally, normally, like how you would see in the uh, original Halo games, which I'm very very happy of. So that's a good job on T50 for bringing us back the original zoom in. Uh, so before the player is running into the structure, you then see the banisher 
uh, uh, brutes are drop pod dropping down and the brutes finally reveal themselves in game and all I have to say they look so damn good. I like the detail that 343 added here is when the player is firing at the brute you can see his armor getting teared apart and when he gets shot on the leg he loses control he couldn't balance, balance himself so I kind of like that detail uh, 343 added on the brute. So the next uh, scene we have uh, a player finds a equipment called drop war. He releases the drop wall and the shield pops out. It kind of reminds you, reminds me of the bubble shield and the deployer from Halo 3, which I was a big fan of. And I also forgot to point out the spikers from Halo 3, they have returned. <laughs> so continuing forward, after killing the brutes, the player picks up uh, another new weapon called a Ravega. It seems like some type of brute shotgun, which I thought I find badass. So when the player gets onto the elevator from high up, you see a very nice uh, view, uh, which while the Halo theme was playing, which was very outstanding uh, what 343 did. Uh, here in the next shot, you see a suicide grunt jumping very high, which I find it funny and epic at the same time, because he literally comes out of nowhere. Next one, we see a player climbing on the top of the structure. Uh, now, I'm not a big fan of that. I hope 53 don't implement this into multiplayer where the players climb. Uh, it will have it however suit in the campaign maybe since it's an open world, open world so I don't really mind that. Next shot we see here of a new weapon called the Pulse Carbine which looks super cool I think. I just hope we still have the original car Covenant Carbine somewhere in game. Um, next weapon we see here again called the Mangler. Now this weapon really uh, uh, does give gives me the same vibe from Halo 3 called the Mauler. It's a mini Brute shotgun, I think, uh, which looks super cool. I can tell that like, you know I would have a, a a lot of fun using this weapon. So here you see the Master Chief using the grappling hook, and he attaches it to the fusion coil, and then he actually picks it up and throws it at the enemy, which I find it very insane. Another one we have here yet again, we have a new UNNC weapon called the Bulldog. It seems to be some type of sh UNNC shotgun. Um, again, it looks like a weapon that doesn't really belong in a Halo game in my opinion at least. Uh, I really hope they had the classic shotgun somewhere I think because I think uh, they there are two shotguns uh, so I really hope that you know the classic shotgun is there somewhere. Uh, one thing really bothers me in this cutscene and for everyone else at the end of the gameplay video we get this cutscene of this brute here I feel like his texture is well off as if it's not rendered correctly or something it's very very weird because Master Chief and the pilot they have much better details compared to everything else in the game so let's hope 343 do improve them before release so 343 posted a gameplay trailer of halo infinite and there are some new stuff they've shown so let's take a look so right off the bat we see the return of the energy sword which looks so nice uh, i think it's the same design from halo reach and here's the uh, next scene we see the player throw uh, some uh, throw some type of electric grenade not sure what it is exactly, I think it freezes the enemies, uh, what do you guys think it is? And look at this next uh, shot here, the return of the original battle rifle. It looks so damn good, however I think the scope seems a little off. I think it's missing that blue shiny colour on the scope like what Halo 2 and Halo 3 had. But I'm so happy it's finally back, that's what matters. Uh, good job that 343 brought it back. Uh, here is the next image. Uh, the Brute's armor design uh, reminds me so much of Halo 3, like the art style. Uh, it's spot on. Uh, you can pause the video you know, to have a nice look at it. Here is the image of Master Chief doing his badass uh, pose of him using the grappling hook. Uh, but if you look at the weapon that he has behind on his back, is that a damn Brute shot from Halo 2 and 3? I really don't know, but I hope it is. I would love to see it uh, return. We haven't seen the brute shot since Halo 3. Next image we have here is the brute. Uh, again, and again, I love the new brute's armor design. Uh, it looks so badass. They look so damn good. I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, thank you, Earthy43, uh, for getting the art style right. Now, let's talk about the grappling hook and the graphics. Let's start off with the grappling hook first. Uh, so, a lot of people, uh, a lot of Halo fans, are giving a lot of backlash at the grappling hook. Well, if this makes you feel any better, 343 stated that on Halo Waypoint, this bit here, and I quote, these new additions to the sandbox will also carry over to the multiplayer. However, they function a bit differently as equipment items that can pick it up on the map. Uh, we look forward to uh, talking more about the multiplayer, multiplayer details soon. So basically, it's like how in Halo 3 where you pick up a rubbish sheet on the map, 
just like that. So no one's not gonna spawn with like with the grappling hook or anything. So yeah. So you guys happy now? Do you guys have hope again? <laughs> so yeah, this would work just like equipment from Halo 3. I think these are equipment actually. I think equipment, you know, are making a return uh, uh, and they're gonna be as you know pickup items. Now we got that out of the way, let's move on to the graphics. Now it's been confirmed that the gameplay reveal we saw was a very old build because I read a, a article uh, somewhere and this guy named uh, Greenberg said and I quote The other thing I'll just say is it is a work in progress, I can tell you. Because we see build uh, check-ins every week uh, and they make uh, progress week after week. So between now and, uh, and holiday it's just going to get better and better. So that means they would improve the graphics over time, which is very good to hear. Okay guys, I think I said a lot in this video. I did try my best to explain every detail, uh, which as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do apologize if I miss uh, any parts out uh, of the video. Uh, I'm just so hyped up for Halo Infinite this year, and I uh, hope you guys are too. I do believe it's going to be a darn good game. It will be releasing this year. Uh, we don't know uh, much about the multiplayer, but they will give us more info soon, apparently. And Halo Infinite will be coming to PC and on Steam along with Xbox, in case of you guys that know. And they did mention it will have crossplay, uh, which I'm so happy about. Uh, yet again, thank you for uh, thank you for three uh, for adding crossplay. Uh, now I will end the video here, and I thank you guys for stopping uh, by. Uh, be sure to. Subscribe subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here uh, I always post Halo videos uh, every week and follow us on Twitch uh, for Halo streams and I'll see you spawns in the next video bye